If you are watching this video, you are ready to make changes in your life. Enough is enough, your life is yours to live. Let's do this together. But you got you you look good, you dress good. Thank you. You're Thank killing you. it. What's going on? What <laughs> happened, dude? Well here's so here's the secret. Uh, I just watched myself look worse and worse every single week. I know that every single person has been there at least once in their life. We have no idea what you're doing at all. You know that you want to start something new, and you kind of have the motivation to just begin, but then as soon as you try, that motivation just dies off. Maybe you want to exercise, and you get those first few days, and then you don't really see the results, so that motivation just kind of starts to simmer off and go away. When you went from potato in the mirror, <laughs> the Jewish was, it, was it like a straight, dis like you were like, I'm in, I'm going? Yeah, it's it's if you really think about the, all the times I looked at myself and I was like, oh, it's terrible. Like all those times c culminate in many false starts. Right. There's so many times where it's like, now it's the time. Yeah, that's my <laughs> and then something happens. You're like, wait, tomorrow might be like, the time. After the fifth time, you're gonna be like, am I gonna say this is going down again, or am I gonna lie to myself again? Right. How many times? Right. For me, it was like 27 times. <laughs> right. so I like that. No, I think that's important for people listening to remember that it's okay to have those false starts because eventually you're gonna get to the point you, you want to be at. This is a story of when I was there and how I wasted two years of my life waiting for the motivation, waiting for the opportunity, instead of actually just starting and doing the things that I wanted to do. Sometimes in your life, you just get that beautiful moment of clarity where everything comes together and you know exactly what you're doing, why you're doing, and how to do it. And you have your plan for how to roll the things that you want to do forward. But usually, we actually just have no idea what we're doing. And we're just kind of walking in this foggy, hazy life where we know what we want to do, but we're not sure if it's going to work out. So we try a little bit and then pull back apprehensively because we don't know if it's going to work out or not. And then we kind of change our plans and try something else and then pull back. And we kind of walk through life day to day without seeing the big picture and the progress that we're actually making. Your life slips by day by day, slowly in front of you, if you don't grab a hold of the opportunities that you have. When I first came to China, I had so many things on my list. I wanted to learn Chinese, I wanted to be able to make tons of friends, make videos, get really popular on YouTube, I wanted to travel around as many places as I possibly could, and my list grew bigger every single day. And I wasn't able to face my limitations. So when I wasn't able to accomplish one of my goals and my Chinese wasn't as good as I expected it to be, it kind of put me into this hole. And each new goal that I made was just digging deeper and deeper. I couldn't face my own insecurity and my own lack of ability to accomplish what I wanted to do. And that put me into a pretty bad depression. When that depression started, I didn't even really notice it. I was just staying at home more instead of going out. I wasn't cooking food or taking care of my house anymore. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but for me, it got worse and worse slowly. And gradually, I started to lose my motivation to even do the most basic things. I was just kind of waking up and going through the routine of my day and then coming home. And it's Instead of being productive, I would just kind of turn off and relax. At the worst point, I spent 24 hours in my bed and I didn't even go outside of my room. It was really bad. I knew something had to change, but I didn't know what, I didn't know how, and I didn't even know why this was happening to me. It was just a really confusing and difficult period of my life. So if you're in any kind of situation like that, I just want you to know what I did and I want you to be able to use my story as motivation to start doing better for yourself because this is something that we really need to do. We need to confront ourselves and we need to actually start making these changes. We can't just expect ourselves to change in one day and be able to accomplish all of our goals. We have to start simple at the very bottom. We have to start filling our lives with things that make us feel more productive. And as we start to accomplish small goals, simple goals, then we can move on to bigger ones. But we always need to have the big picture in mind. So I just decided to take all the pressure off and make plans. But this is even worse because when you're depressed and unmotivated, plans don't actually end up happening. So I just kept making these plans, but these plans never saw the light of day because even though they meant something to me, they would never happen in real life unless I changed something about myself. I was stuck in a rut when that pulled me back every time I took a few steps forward. I saw people on YouTube literally living my dream and I didn't have the skills to compete. 
so I chose the easier way to solve all my problems. Just keep making plans, just keep preparing. But it just added more when I couldn't get the smooth and beautiful videos I saw online. I was comparing my sprouting ability with that of professionals, and it wasn't until I hit that lowest point when I realized things needed to change. I finally found the motivation to start again after I got a compliment on one of my photos. I posted it on Reddit just thinking nothing. I took it with my phone. It was just a passing photo of a bridge. I'll actually show you. Here it is. When I shared that photo and I got that one compliment, it was all the proof that I needed that what I was creating actually mattered, even if it was only to just one person. And I realized that the thing that was holding me back wasn't my lack of skill, but my lack of confidence. And so I kind of forced myself to share more and more. And I realized that I was judging my work with unprofessional eyes. My eyes were trained to see the faults and the mistakes, those tiny details that somebody could judge. They weren't trained to see the beauty of my voice. And I think this is something that we all do to ourselves, especially creative people who want to do something really good. We look at our work and we're the only ones who can see the problems. Every single person has a different voice. And if we aren't afraid to use that voice, we can add something of value into the world. So I want you to learn from me and waste less time. Post that photo, put that video out, do that thing that you wanted to do. Just do it and start now and don't be afraid to start it because I wasted two years of my life just preparing every single day. And here we are, we're at a time where you're able to learn from my mistakes and be able to move your own life forward faster. You shouldn't be afraid to share your voice because you might just touch one person. And as Aristotle said, if you want to avoid criticism, do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. So if you find yourself in a similar situation to me, and you're just having a hard time motivating yourself to just start and just actually do the things that you want to do, I'm gonna show you my worst photos. Just the, the worst crap I've ever taken, the worst videos I've ever made, just everything that's just not good. And I'm gonna put that at the very end of this video so you can see where I started to be where I am today. And I want you to just know that I've been there, I understand your feeling, but it's worse for you to delay. It's worse for you to take another day off and to just postpone doing what you wanna do. It's so much better if you just put it out there because if you're the only one who's allowed to judge your work, how are you gonna get any better? So I hope that you can continue to learn with me because I'm still getting better every single day. And I hope you enjoy watching my worst and epic fails because at this point I have nothing to lose. Now I'm here, I've made this studio because I'm gonna share videos every single week and I'm gonna share stories and I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna accomplish my bucket list goals. I'm gonna show you the progression of setting a short-term goal to actually accomplishing a long-term goal. And if you follow me and you subscribe to me, I promise you that I will help be the motivation that you need. We can do this together, guys. Microphone test. Microphone test.